Welcome back everyone, Tina here and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can send automatic invoices once a document or contract has been signed. This comes in really handy if you're a coach, consultant, maybe an agency or any business really where you sign contracts and where you then afterwards collect the money. This really decreases the manual labor and increases the revenue because now the weight in between those two actions from contractor signing the contract and the client signing the contract to actually paying the money. So everything happens the second after somebody signs, they can receive the invoice, they click the button and the invoice will be paid. Let me show you how you can set this up. All right, first click on payments on the left, then navigate to documents and contracts at the top and select all documents and contracts. Then either click the plus new button on the top right corner or select the contract in question. For this scenario, we select an already created contract. Now let's say this is your contract template. Here you would then add all your terms and conditions. Then here you would obviously add the recipients. So let's do that real quick. Awesome. If you wanted to, you can also set the signing order. In this case, we just leave that empty. And then we're going to add one more recipient. You can just type the name right here and it filters through all your contacts. You select the contact in question and that's it. Next up, please note that for this to work, for the system to be able to send out an invoice right after the agreement has been signed, you need to add a product list to the agreement. So the agreement needs to know what is going to be the charge. How do we need to create the invoice basically? So all you got to do is click the add element button and then add the product list by just simply dragging and dropping it over. Okay, so here we go. Now you can click plus add an item and here you can click the drop down menu and select the product that you have previously created or you just click the plus new item. In this case, we're just going to select a product that we've created and then let's hit add item. Now here you can decide if it's an optional item. Okay, you can just toggle this one on. In this case, we turn it off because that's kind of like what we discussed with the customer, right? Then you can edit the quantity in case you are selling hours, for example, as a design or something like that and you just turn this on and they can just select their hours in the package for example you know you can set a minimum quantity of 10 for example and a maximum of 50 or something like that right now let's just turn it off here you can see the price the displayed price if you wanted to you can add VAT any sort of text that you need to add based on where you're located and how you run your business just check mark this box and you can see the VAT showing up right here if you wanted to add a discount you can do that by just clicking the add discount button all of this will be transferred into the invoice, by the way. So you can either decide, hey, I want to give 10% discount or a custom amount. Let's say we give $200 off and then let's hit save. You can see the discount showing up right here. Nice. And then here on the left, you have to enable direct payment. The payments are collected immediately after signing. So that's what we want to do. Then, of course, we want to add the signature boxes. Let's put that here. Then you can select who needs to sign this. Let's hit save top right corner for now. And let's just send it off so I can show you how the process as would go. Perfect. Let's hit send. Send by email. Here you can change the document name. You can add more people as recipients. You can change the template if you wish so. But for now, we just hit send. Awesome. The email has been sent successfully. So let's go and check that. And here we go. That's the email the customer would receive. They would just click on view document. Then it shows them, hey, this document has one required field, which is their signature, right? So let's start filling it out. Let's sign it. Yep, that looks good. And then once they click this finish and complete button, they will receive that invoice, right? The invoice that invoices them $1,999 for this particular product, for example. Let's hit finish and complete. Complete payment. Ta da! And here we go. You can see the invoice billed to the customer with the item which we added to the document, with the price with the 20% VAT and including the discount. Now, all they gotta do is click pay now in order to pay this invoice. So, once they click the pay button, different options how they could pay depending on what kind of payment capabilities you have enabled inside of your account will show up. In this case, it will be card payments or Google payments. They can also decide if they wanna leave a tip and then and once they fill out their details and hit pay, you will already receive the money. Now they've also received the invoice via email in addition to just seeing them on the next screen like I just showed you. So in case there's an interruption, whatever reason, the doorbell rings or whatever, and they didn't finish the payment right there and then on the screen and they're losing the tab, no worries. The invoice is in the email. They just click this button, click view invoice, and the invoice will show up again. Okay. They can also click here to download the PDF and that's it. Now you as the business owner can then 
then also see the status of the invoice and the document. So if you go back to payments on the left, documents and contracts at the top and you select the payment section right here, you can see the payment status is still pending. Okay. Once that's been paid, it will change to paid. You can also click the three dots right here, click view history, and then you will see what happened. Hey, this person viewed the contract. Hey, this person signed the contract. And now we're just waiting for the payment to go through. Also, you'll find the invoice under the invoice tab. So navigate to invoices, click on all invoices and voila, here we go. There is our invoice, right? You can see it's due in one day. We're still waiting for the money. Otherwise it would say paid under status, right? You can click the three dots. If you wanted to edit it, you can do so and change anything. If there is any discussion still happening with the client, you can change it to quantity. If they change their mind, they want more or less. If they wanted to add a different product and so on and so forth, whatever the case may be, you can still edit and then click resend at the top right corner to resend that invoice. So let's pretend we would like to add more products. Click add more products, select the product, decide on the price, the quantity, add tags. If you want to select a tags, if you create one or add tags automatically, really up to you. You can also add a product description. If you wanted to change the discount, you can still do that here. And if you wanted to add a payment schedule, you can also do that. Maybe split the payments into two or ask for a fixed amount, totally up to you. Again, you have also the option to add your terms and conditions and to charge late fees, which I would always recommend. So then you will just get paid on time more often than not. Furthermore, if you wanted to add an attachment, you can do that. So just check mark this box and then upload your PNG, CSV or PDF. In this case, let's keep it unchecked. Let's hit save and let's resend. Here again, you can decide, hey, you want to send it by email or text. In this case, this customer doesn't have any phone number stored. Therefore, these fields are just created out. You will again see, hey, this invoice is in live mode yet. We want to do these modifications. Let's hit send and you will see the price has changed right here. Now let's go into the customer's email inbox. Here you can see the new message already came in. Let's click show. Here we go. A new invoice has been sent with the new amount. Click view invoice and you will see the two products being listed. And that's it already, ladies and gentlemen. This is how you can be much more effective with sending out your invoices the minute your customer or your prospect still are to this time then signs the contract. Once they've paid the invoice, that's what makes them the customer. All right. I hope you like this video and I will see you in the next video.